Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com. Here to bring you your monthly forecast. Will your ex return for December 2019? Guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign if you'd like more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so, so Virgos, we're going to look at how does your ex feel about you romantically? Do they feel you? Are they loving you? Um, why haven't you guys reconciled? You know, what's going on with that? What's the blockage here? And also, how do they feel about having a reconciliation with you? Do they want one? Okay. And will you guys reconcile in the month of December? And of course, we're going to get some advice for you. Um, with the advice part, you have free will, so you can choose to do whatever you like with that. Okay. You can choose to take it or not take it. All right. So Virgos, let's jump right in. So tell me how my Virgos ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Virgos ex love interest feel about my Virgos romantically? How does my Virgos ex love interest feel about my Virgos romantically for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. One more time. Okay, that feels good. Okay, Virgos, they feel that you guys, uh, they wanna hang out with you with a three of cups energy. This also can be the friendship card. They also feel like maybe there's another person involved with the situation because I see that there is uh, two females and a male or multiple people involved. They feel that you are a wise choice, that you're wise, that you use your intelligence, that you make wise decisions here with the king of swords energy. They feel that they want a decision or they want a just truth here pertaining to you because what is the justice card? It's about divorce. It's about marriage. It's about a just truth or a decision that needs to be made here. Okay. And they do feel that there is love here with the Empress card or something to do with the love and abundance here. The Empress card is also a nurturing kind of motherly energy. Okay. And they do feel that you fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups. Okay. So... Virgo, this person feels that you are a good friend to them or they, they feel that you guys uh, have fun when you hang out with the Three of Cups energy, okay? They feel that you are wise, that you use your intelligence, that you use your logic to make decisions or they feel like they want to make a just truth or decision pertaining to the situation because they feel that there can be some love here or they feel that there's love here with the Empress card and they want to fulfill their wishes with you, Nine of Cups energy. So the central thing of what they feel is they want a decision or they feel like they want to make a just choice or decision pertaining to you with the justice card. Yeah. And why is that? Because of love and logic. So they want to know they were, they're feeling like, okay, is this a wise choice when it comes to, uh, you know, their romantic love life? Is there love here with the Empress? And they feel like they want to fulfill their wishes here when it comes to you. Okay. So Virgos, let's see what the blockage is. How does Virgos love interest, ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. How does Virgos ex love interest, what is, what is the reason why they haven't reconciled? Why hasn't there been a reconciliation between Virgo and Virgos ex love interest for the month of December? Why haven't they reconciled? Or what's the blockage between these two? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Okay, the blockage is here because of the fact that uh, there's something secret going on with the High Priestess card, or it's because someone hasn't used their intuition with the High Priestess card. Um, there may be an issue around money here with the Nine of Pentacles energy, or someone who's self-focused with the Nine of Pentacles energy, or someone is not single and available here because nine of pentacles is someone who is single and it's saying that that's the blockage because someone possibly may not be single and available the world card there could be some travel involved with you and this person there could be some distance there could be a foreign element to this with the world card or there hasn't been someone something that has been accomplished or completed here because the world card is 
when you are dating somebody and you take that from one level to the next or there's some kind of potential there and it wasn't taken from one level to the next so something wasn't completed here that's the blockage um, something surrounding work efforts or work school apprenticeship which could be the blockage here and again we're talking about something to do with justice divorce marriage or some kind of just truth about the situation. Okay, so what's the central theme of why you guys haven't reconciled? Well, we have the world card. So there could be some kind of travel involved with this, all right? Some kind of distance. Someone could be foreign from someone else, or it's because someone decided they didn't want to complete the cycle here. They didn't want to go from one level of commitment to the next, okay? So there wasn't something that was completed here. And why? Because of something surrounding money, it looks like there's a money issue here, the Nine of Pentacles, or someone was focused on money, school, work, and apprenticeship here, or someone didn't want to put the work and effort because they were focused on themselves, and they made this decision because they, they were feeling like something was secret in the situation, or because they didn't use, someone didn't use their intuition, or someone's not using their intuition here. Okay. So how does Virgo's ex-love interest, how do your ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation with you in the month of December? Does Virgo's ex-love interest want to have a reconciliation with Virgo's in the month of December? Does Virgo's ex-love interest want to have a reconciliation with Virgo in the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. We want to. Okay, that feels good. Okay, six of pentacles. They want an equal give and take, all right? Or they want equal amount of times, or they want something that's balanced here with six of pentacles. They do want healing. The magician card is another positive card. They feel that you are an ideal situation, or they'd like an ideal situation. And they want or they feel like they want some kind of decision made here. So they're making some kind of choice. And they want something ended here with a death card. Um, because they're still holding on to something for short success. Okay, so do they want to? They're, they're still deciding two of wands energy. And why? Because... They want an ideal situation and they need something ended because someone's holding on to something. So you could be having another person in the situation. They could have another person in the situation or it's because someone hasn't forgiven someone completely. Because obviously Six of Pentacles is saying that they want forgiveness. They want an ideal situation and they are wanting to make a choice here because they ended something or they need something to end because something is somebody's holding on to something for short success. Okay, so will you guys have a reconciliation here? Will Virgo reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of December? Will Virgo reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of December? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they turned on this video for, will they reconcile with this person, ex-love interest, in the month of December? Okay, that feels good. Okay, so we have the High Priestess card. It represents um, something secret, someone using their intuition. Also, the High Priestess can come out when it says some um, spirit ones is saying to us, something is yet to be known. Okay, that's the High Priestess. Um, there is something hidden, there's something deceptive here, or there's confusion with the Moon card because there's a choice to be made here, Two of Pentacles. There's some weighing of some heavy choices here with the Two of Pentacles energy. And there's an indecision here or a compromise that needs to be made, which is burdensome and a challenge here. And why is that? Because it's something surrounding family, long-term commitment, and loyalty. Okay, so for you guys, I would have to say this is leaning more towards the no um, category because of the fact that this choice is here. Okay, so I would have to say no at this time because there's a choice that has to be made and there's an indecision here because something is confusing to someone or because of something secret here with the high priestess and, uh, and there's some kind of compromise that needs to be made surrounding loyalty to family and long-term commitment. However, I'm going to get some advice for you, so. 
I have some advice for my Virgos. Romantic love life pertaining to their ex-love interest for the month of December, please. I have some advice for my Virgos pertaining to their ex-love interest. What should they do for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So obviously they're suggesting some type of separation here. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but spirit is saying that you need to have trust and faith that things are going to work out. And that there is strong magnetic chemistry between you and this person. So even though there's separation right now, Virgo, spirit is saying that you can have trust and faith that things will work out because you guys have strong magnetic chemistry okay there is strong magnetic chemistry between you and this person so even though i'm saying no at this time obviously it's because of the fact that there's a choice and there's some kind of compromise that needs to be made and someone's confused there with the moon card because they're not using their intuition or they feel it's something secret and it's around family uh Spirit is saying, even though you guys are separated, things can still work out. And don't worry that you guys have strong magnetic chemistry together. Okay? All right, my Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Guys, have a great month. I love you guys so much.